Today we are having alio olio, garlic, oil, salt, coriander, and a bit of dry chili. Wait, you put dry chili in this? Hello, hello. How are you doing? Got my coffee here. Hang on. Sit here. No, I'm not going to sit there. I'm going to put it at the other side. Oh. So that if I want to sit. My wife's here, as you can tell. <laughs> She's not feeling very um, talkative good. right now because she hasn't had a coffee and she's uh, not a morning person and Monday blues. And anyway, um, are you watching Great Speed Eats? And we're here at Hong Lim Market and Food Centre to talk about Teo Heng porridge. It's easy to miss out on the stall since it is tucked away in the corner of the ground floor of Hong Lim Food Centre. But come here on most mornings and you'll see many patrons tucking into Teochew porridge around the stall. It is one of the oldest stalls selling Teochew porridge in Singapore and it might possibly be the oldest. It was handed to Liao Ye Kim, born 1925, in the 1940s, but it was already held by two previous generations. Ye Kim's grandfather started the stall, then it was handed over to his uncle, then to Ye Kim himself. The stall is now run by the fourth generation, A Yong and sister A Lan. They run the stall at Hong Lim Food Centre, and older brother A Heng runs another outlet at Amoy Street Food Centre. So come and let's have a taste. Hello, Auntie. Hey, Abe, babe, babe. Can you go and see what fish you want? Okay. Oh, not Okay, hala, hala. Titan, intestines, tau pok ah. Okay, hala. Hey, la. Okay, hala. Okay, hala. Okay, hala. Okay, I'm back from the store and I ordered quite a number of items here. Lah. Okay. Okay, so what we have is basically a poached fish in Kiam Chai. The fish actually depends on what Ayong can get from the market. Here we got what he said was just a white fish. He says it's very good, so I was like, okay, uh, just trust him. Lah. Then we got two kinds of fish cake over here. We have the fried fish cake and we have got the steamed fish cake. Then we've got their, um, I mean, it's a traditional Teochew stall, but they do sort of like make innovations, lah, modern innovations. And this is one of them, which is the Ni Tamago Boil Egg. Lah. You can see the yolks are actually a bit molten. Lah. Then we have got the Kole Thai, which is basically stewed cabbage with some Tang Poon. I think I see some Chinese coriander. <laughs> is that right? I can't tell the difference between parsley and Chinese coriander sometimes. And my wife complains and complains. Chinese celery. Chinese celery, okay, got it wrong again. <laughs> then we have got the stuffed tau pot. Basically, it's tau pot here. And it's stuffed with like um, shredded duck meat, a fish cake, pork skin, pork fat, cucumbers, and so on and so forth. Like. Then we have got more long items over here which is basically the tau pork and then we've got the intestines. Then we've got all the sauces over here. You have got the standard garlic and chili sauce, sour chili sauce here. And then you've got another uh, chili sauce which is basically chili paste base. You've got the tau chio which is the salted soybeans. And then you have got the, uh, I forgot what it's called here. Yeah? In Teochew it's called kick you. <laughs> and it's sweet and it's slightly salted a bit. And then of course we've got the porridge. Lah. Um, but I ordered it with a little bit more porridge water. Um, then we're gonna tuck into the fish first, lah, okay? I'm gonna get a bit of fish up here, and then with some of the kiam chai on top. 
Very nice people, it's very fresh, no fishiness at all. I mean, this is the main highlight, lah, why you actually come to a Teochew porridge store to eat. Lah. Here, they actually have fresh raw fish, and then it is gently poached in a cauldron of stewed kiam chai, preserved mustard leaves. And it is only poached only upon your order. And then it comes, you know, supremely fresh and sweet every time. Lah. The accompanying soft kiam chai on top is nice. It's salted on the lighter side. The oldest generation will order the smaller rabbit fish. Lah. Pick to her. Pick to her. They will order that instead, especially during the fish's spawning season, which tends to be around Chinese New Year, where the milk and roe in the fish is abundant. It's a must-have during Chinese New Year as it is believed that it brings good luck for the rest of the year. Any thoughts on the fish? Fresh, soft, 90% actually. That's right. Like you said, not fishy. Um, even the stomach area is not fishy. No, but um, I think the, the gyam thai complements <laughs> the, the, um, fish. And then it goes nicely also if you don't want gyam thai with the gyam thai. <laughs> I think she blocked for me lah, better. I know that most people eat steamed fish with the tao tio lah. And this is what a lot of teochews do. But here, because you've got the kiam thai, it's not really necessary. It's not a must have. Okay, next one, the pole chai lah, okay. Pole chai, stewed cabbage uh, with tang hoon. Mmm. Very lightly seasoned, you can still taste the vegetable. I don't understand why they put tambun lah, but that's the tradition. It's meant to add a bit of texture, I presume. Very simple, very light. There's not a lot of oil either. Some places selling kole chai would actually make it a lot oilier than this. But this one is very, very plain. This one goes through into mm. the teochew theme of very simple, very ting. What does ting mean? Clean. Clean, yes. When it comes to teochew porridge, right? The porridge and the arm is very important. This is the porridge. Yeah, as you can see, right, the, all the grains are still intact. Mostly soft, but it's got still a little bit of bite. Mm. I've been brought up by a Teochew woman. Uh, she was also brought up by a Teochew woman. And um, Teochews like to have a lot of arm in their porridge. Why? I have no idea. That's all I used to it. And apparently, it's meant to be healthy. Uh. The, all the nutrition of the rice goes inside the arm and it's very cooling. Uh. I guess so. It's like when you have diarrhea, you always drink some and give you that enough nutrition um, that you need for the day. Okay, next. The mi tamago eggs. So as you can tell, it's actually cooked outside and then there's a molten center. It's very nicely done. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. I mean, it's basically a very good mi tamago egg lah. The outside is actually firmer, and then it gets less and less and less firm as you reach the yolk lah. Now once you reach the yolk, it's like molten, it's very well done. Emma's favorite. But let's discuss the law itself, okay? The taste profile of the law. Okay, it is actually not straight ahead salty, it's actually uh, more rounded because they've added sugar inside. But the general taste profile is on the lighter side. So it's basically got savory and sweet notes, but it's not excessively salty, it's not excessively sweet either. It's got a very nice balance. Huh? Next, the steamed fish cake. Fish cake very very nicely done. Not too firm, not too soft. It's got just that right texture in between. It's salted obviously, and uh, you can tell that it's a bit of an oil finish inside. So I'm not sure whether you actually do it with lard, but it's very nicely done. Mm. Right? Yeah. Like from the fresh from the now for the the fried fish cake. The fish cake is made um, almost every day, lah, and they do two versions, lah, one fried and one steamed. This one is the fried one. As I described it, it's almost like the steamed fish cake. It's just that it's got a little bit more of that oil richness. Like. Next, the uh, tau pok pao, I suppose. Stop tau pok.
shredded duck meat, fish cake, pork skin, and pork fat, and pork meat with maybe a little bit of cartilage inside. It is braised in raw soy gravy and cucumbers and stuffed into a toasty tau pork and eaten like that. Eaten with chili, it is a wonderful mix of soft and crunchy textures, pork fat and braised flavors. Wonderful. The next, the uh, tau pork. Mm-hmm. Always good to eat tau pork because it's a wonderful salt plus. Because it soaked up all the sauce with it. The next, the uh, intestines. <laughs> soft, creamy, bouncy. Mmm, wonderful. Chewy? Got a bit of chew, yeah, but it's a soft chewiness. Mm. Very nice. It's not like a sticky band, a elastic mm. band. As you can see, right, there are actually a few sauces over here because Teochew is like sauces. Green Teochew is all about having sauce. Like. There are so many dipping sauces over here. Basically, they have their standard. Yeah, even I didn't know that. Okay. What does it call it? If I pronounce it correctly, it's called Sung Mi which is chili, vinegar, chili, and, and um, garlic. So, uh, yeah, okay, like, my wife more or less is fine. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's very sour, spicy, and garlicky. I'm not sure whether it's got a hint of sugar. Maybe? No, I doubt so. No, this one definitely has no sugar. This one is like straight traditional, okay? The whole point of having a sauce is that you eat it with something rich. So you eat it with the intestines or you eat it with the uh, pork belly or something rich, like something fatty. There are some future places where they put herbs inside the fish cake. And they also put a lot, a lot of lard inside the fish cake. Lah. Then the sour chili actually makes a lot of sense. Lah. But these days, um, they, they've actually cut back on the lard. So this sauce doesn't make sense to with the fish cake. Only with the meatier item. Which is why you have this other sauce over here. Which item? Grittier, earthy, more savoury. It's also a richer flavour. This one kind of like suits the um, the less fatty item. Yeah, the gritty chili with the fish cake makes a lot more sense. Right? Then you have the tau chiu over here. Basically, you eat it when you want a salt blast, lah. Like. You know, so instead of salt or soy sauce, you use tau chiu instead, which is um, preserved soy beef, lah. Like. I personally think it's better with steam fish. Plain steam fish. Right? Yeah, this is something new, okay? Apparently my wife eats fish cake with this plum sauce, which is called It you. This is my first time trying it like like this. Uh. <laughs> I, don't understand. I like the sauce so that's why I eat it with everything. <laughs> but this sauce uh, normally goes with octopus. Uh. Okay. So we're kind of like finished. We can't eat through all of this lah, because it's way too much food. But there are still more items at Teo Heng which I want to try lah. So I'll come back here on another time. Probably without my wife because she's very busy at work. <laughs> so I'll probably see you in a few days lah. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, test, test, test. Okay, alright, we're here. We're live. Okay, so um, I'm back here at Teo Heng Porridge for a second day. This time without my wife because she's very busy at work, but she would have missed this lah, okay? Because look at this bread. So what did I order? I ordered a couple of items here. I ordered the cold squid, then uh, some salted egg. I've got some green veg over here, and I got some of the law items lah. Just three of the ones that they offer, which is the duck, the pork belly, and then the tau kwa, which is the hard tofu. Okay, first, uh, let's try the cold squid. Squid very nicely blends, a springy bite with a bit of softness inside and then it's got that um, squid flavour lah and it's salted a bit. Traditionally the squid is dipped in a tangerine sauce known as cake yu in Teochew. It's a sauce that's made using tangerines, white sugar and I suspect a little bit of salt as well. 
The sauce has a nice orange aroma and a sweet, slightly salted, musky orange flavour. In Teochew cuisine, it's eaten with seafood, usually squid and cold crabs, but sometimes with fish as well. And its main purpose is to mask the overly strong seafood smells that you sometimes encounter. In Singapore, the sauce, even the commercial ones like this, is very hard to find these days. Try looking for it in provision shops and supermarkets in the Chinatown area. Next, some veg. You just cook veg. Very, very simple. You can get it if you want to. Lah. Simple green veg. Simply fried with a bit of oil, garlic, and salt. Wonderful. You have the salted egg over here. Goes great with porridge. Lah. Wonderful. Very, very salty, but you eat it with rice, it's perfect. Wonderful oil richness too. Um, before I go on, right, I've got the rice and I've got the, the porridge arm over here. Most people just add a bit of arm inside porridge. Like. I like to add a bit of porridge inside the uh, porridge water. Because I like a lot of porridge water in my porridge. Mm, lovely. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's the tau kwa. Nice firm tofu, not soft in any way, but there's no soundness. You got wonderful inherent tau kwa flavor lah. The pork belly, poached to a nice firmness, very nice. The duck, again, nicely firm. The texture of the meat is actually done more old school in the sense that it is cooked to a good firmness. There's no softness. Nah. I mean, there is a little bit of softness, but it's mainly on the firmer side. The older generation tend to like their meat uh, with a firm chew. You know, because then meat tastes like meat. Meat feels like meat. Teo Hing also offers two types of chilli sauces. The traditional sour chilli with minced garlic and it's very, very sour. And a ground chilli version which is more rounded and savory and it's got maybe a little bit of sugar inside so fyi with the sour garlic and chili sauce over here right it's meant to refresh your palate throughout the meal so that uh, flavors like the law right doesn't get too samey the other thing which is good for is that if the meat is actually too fatty then the sour chili is actually good in cutting through the fat but if you want to enhance the flavor the ground up chili like, will actually do that for you with more spice a little bit more savouriness Sarnas and a bit of sweetness lah. Okay, done. So that was a look at Teo Hing porridge. We serves classic Teochew porridge with a few twists on the dishes lah. But would I travel half across Singapore to eat here? I would say um, almost certainly. There are Teochew porridge stalls around Singapore, but this is the only one that I know of where it is completely focused. And I mean completely focused on like very clean, simple, lighter flavours lah. Whether it is the soy braising sauce or the kiam thai. And that's nice because it actually allows the natural flavour of the ingredients to shine through. Like the natural taste of the pork, the duck, the fish, the eggs and so on. The other thing is that the ingredients here are very, very, very fresh. You know, especially the fish and the fish cake. And the fact that the fish cake is handmade daily, right, is also another plus point. The other items like the porridge and the dips are also very very spot on and the small innovative changes which they make to the meal right are actually quite commendable like the ni tamago eggs and the stuffed tau po the changes aren't wow it is sort of like subtly done here and there and it actually works very well with the rest of the meal the only very very small downside and that's kind of like a personal thing for me is that i wish there was actually more lard and herbs inside the fish cake i've been looking around but right now, I can't seem to find any, like, you know, which is a bit unfortunate. But that's really just the only small nickel to an otherwise perfect Teochew porridge stall, like, in my opinion. So thanks for watching another episode of Great Speed Eats by Ichu the whole of Singapore. If you liked this episode, give it a like, subscribe, comment below, and turn on the notifications bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.